Okay, we continue the point menu. And I want to explain all of those point cloud and point grid <coughs> comments. As you can see, this is very huge scene from Paris. It's very huge. It's in real world dimension. For example, look at this person here. For example, I insert a box. Look at, at the height. It's real world in a meter. It's a big, huge. This is all about the point collab. If you make go closer, as you can see, there are a lot of point that called point collab. They are very light, as you can see. I can move around very uh, light and fast because I use point collab for inserting this uh, 3D scan. You can download <coughs> point collab file e. 57 in this website as we can see they are a scan real world for example i download this and import in a rhino a so rhino support any point cloud <coughs> uh, file this is point cloud okay going to the new because this scene is going to large number and centimeter going here okay another uh, the comment here is point grid as you can see if you want to make a grid of point here we have some option dynal three point vertical and center there are how to that in common will be um, act or will draw for example diagonal click second click as you can see you can uh, make the second quarter with the diagonal shape here and then second third click will be make it in a height as you can see we have a grid of point that do our point cloud because they are group if you want to <coughs> convert the uh, point cloud to the point you can use the explode tool here as you can see they convert to the point and they are very heavier than the point cloud and uh, makes a bigger file size in your rhino so if you have a lots of point you want and you have to make it to point cloud to bringing back to the point cloud here is tools point cloud select that and the software tells you please uh, select the point that you want to become a comment to the point cloud click and drag it select all of them and then the right click as you can see it's turned to the point cloud <coughs> In a grid, so there are, for example, center, you can click first center, and second center is act like this, and you can make a point cloud here, or three point, one, two, three, you can do act like this. These are how to draw the, those settings are to how to draw your grid. Or vertical, let's make it vertical like this, okay? In the settings, we have a count X, Y, Z, and we have the number of them you can change them. In the default, it is this is one. Type of one and hit enter, and as you can see, if uh, you be turkey, we didn't have any uh, height. This is just 2D. Okay, and this is by default. <coughs> Going to the comment again, if you want to change number, just click on them and to type the number that you want, so 10, 10. I make all of the three axes 10 and you can insert any uh, shape to it. Okay. I insert a little point cloud here. And if you insert some points, for example, lots of point here. I want to convert them to the point cloud. Select point cloud and click and drag and right click the point cloud. As you can see, there are two group point cloud. I want to add them to each other. You can use add or remove. Left click to add, right click to remove. Left click to add. To see here what the software tell you. Tell, software tell you please select a point 
or point cloud to be at i want to be at those point to this group okay so select those points that want to be added to the target right click and the software tells the target point cloud click one of them because there are groups select all of them and as you can see it's those points add to this target as you can see there are on the one group if you want to remove them simply right click select the point cloud and then click and drag to remove the points that you want and then right click and they are convert to the point again okay those are the point cloud tools and another interesting tool is drape for example i insert a sphere shape here make it shaded you can drape like a clothes on any object your point grid select that tool all of its sitting is not nice but I, i'm going to ex um, explain you spacing the spacing is uh, the space between the points you can uh simply the software tell you please drag a window to create points simply click and drag on a uh, this object and release and as you can see it's drape a point on a surface of the object the spacing is def uh, define the space between those points for example i bring it here we can make a point like this any shape um select the drape drag a window on any shape you you don't need to select the shape you can uh, have a oh, sorry you can have a multi shape like this i copy them a drape on them click and drag drape on both of them it's very nice uh, you can change the spacing for example five uh the spacing of the you can change the increase or decrease the spacing of the between points uh after you draw type of five hit enter or right click and then draw a, a window again and as we can see the distance between points are very less even smaller we can change it in the spacing okay this is the rape hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release